I am painting in the car. Uh, I know that sounds really ridiculous, but I do paint in the car a lot. Um, I really enjoy it. Now, let me give you some details here. It's a totally different painting. It's a totally different style. The car moves a ton. Uh, we're driving through Ottawa at the moment, and the city is a mess. Like, it's spring, and the roads are all cracked, and it's a really, you know, it's just a mess. There's potholes everywhere. So, it's pretty cold. It's raining today. I got the heat on in here. It's only 8 degrees outside, um, which is why I'm wearing a hat in April or May, in case you guys are wondering. And I'm doing these tiny little bells. These are blue bells. I dug them up a few weeks ago and they have been growing indoors. These little bells of the, of the seed pods here have developed and the little flowers have pulled back. So that's what I'm painting. Um, and I've been doing a little bit here on the sketching and now on the actual painting. trying to match something over here so you know it's good to use the side to figure out colors you can always uh, cover that later with like a mat if you don't want to see this but it's really nice later to know what your color range is so here this color has dried this is um, an indigo with a little bit of magenta in it and this is more magenta but more water and a little bit of the Davies gray and this one is a little more indigo so there's three different versions of pretty much the same shade just depending on how much water or which version i choose and you can see um they're really pretty i like this one although you know i'm trying to match that color and that color is complicated see when it when it lightens up there it's a really um it's a really blue blue color it's bluer than what you're looking at actually and I don't have a lot of blue options over here. Okay, so let's try a little bit of indigo and the cerulean and the magenta and see what that does. But I want it a little darker. That's closer. This flipped over, but I really like the back here. That's really pretty. So, and then don't forget, it's going to dry lighter. Just using the very tip of the brush to get a really straight line. And I do apologize for the ridiculously bumpy ride at the beginning. But I 
thought it would be interesting because I am in the car and it's raining and it might be interesting for you guys to see how I like to do this. Or that it's even possible. So to give you a little bit of background, I believe I started painting in the car when I was a teenager. Probably even a young teenager, like 12 or 13. Um, I loved painting all the time and taking my work sitting in the back seat and painting. I had room, a little more space in the back seat. Um, and I just got really comfortable with using the bumps in the road to the point that when the car stops moving, it feels like, oh, my lines are too straight. So this is probably where a lot of my dancing comes from when I, when I dance the brush across. Which you may have noticed if you've watched any of my other tutorials. Okay, I have this little technique I like to call dancing the brush. Um, and that probably comes from being in the car and the fact that the car bounces all over the place. So I'm just doing this from memory. I'm not really looking over here. I'll move it so you guys get a better view. And we're just going back and forth with tiny little lines and adding in the shadows. Only a little bit of paint at a time. If there's a line you don't like, just tap around it. So turn it into like a stipple. I'm pretty much done for the moment. I definitely need to go over the greens a few more times, but I think I'm going to take a break um, because I'm <laughs> getting tired. Thanks for watching! Toodaloo!